everyone, it's Sunny. So I thought I would do a hair styling video today. Uh, you know me as a makeup artist, but I also trained in hair some time ago, and so I do both hair and makeup. But I don't really do many hair styling videos, mostly because most of the time my hair is quite short. Um, anyways, I thought I would do the Sienna Miller um, styling video, because it's actually something that I do on myself quite a lot. So uh, if you have kind of like pretty much any length bob, this will work for you, or even shorter than a bob, and kind of like that length. Uh, I'm just going to give you some hints and tips on how I style my hair really quickly this way. So my hair is just air dried. There's absolutely, like I haven't done anything to it at all. My natural part party kind of falls here. And when I got out of the shower, I put in some Shuamura Satin Design, Satin Design Polishing Milk uh, with white tea. This kind of conditions my hair. It really closes the cuticles, but it also gives a tiny bit of texture to work with because my hair is really fine. And we are going to use one extra product and a straightening iron, and that literally is it. Now, the first thing that I do is I'm not even gonna use a comb to do kind of partings or anything because I want this to be a little bit haphazard. My natural parting kind of falls here, so it kind of does middle and side. So we're gonna flip it. So I'm gonna flip it to quite a deep side parting. So as you can see, you already get like this kind of like the lift that she has in a lot of styles and it kind of naturally goes over your eye. So flipping your parting is such a good way to kind of like give yourself a completely different look immediately. So I'm gonna turn on my um, hair straighteners. Mine are by Cloud9. I prefer these to GHD because it has a temperature setting and because I have fine hair, I don't wanna to go too high. I usually use it at 150. I have no idea how much that is in Fahrenheit. And I am going to just take off, take off the top layer, pin back the top layer of my hair so that we can do the bottom part first. I do kind of, brush it through. Let's, let's try and get that front bit there as well. This heats up super fast. So on the bottom layer, I don't actually do that much. Whenever I'm straightening, I always kind of like take a brush with me and I run it through it. So the kind of natural kind of kinks happen. I tend to run this once over just to make it smooth. And then the kind of kink action is run it down, turn it that way for a bit, and then straighten it out again. So you get this kind of like funny looking kink thing. Now I often also, like especially in the front, then kink it in the other direction as well. This will make a lot of sense soon. And I'm just gonna go around the back as well, so I just straighten and then I do a little kink. Again this side, so just run it through, hold on I didn't brush it, so I run it through, ooh I must touch my ear there. Turn it 90 degrees, and then I'm going to turn it again 90 degrees. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, that's quite an extreme kink. But because we're layering different kinks on top of each other, like obviously my hair looks a bit funny now, it doesn't really matter. So I am going to take... So right now I have nothing else on my hair apart from the product I put in kind of just after showering. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this down. This is probably like two sections. If you have loads of hair, obviously you will have loads of sections. Mine is so fine, I don't have to worry about it. So run it through and then kink it up. I sometimes try and do the kinks in slightly different places. So this one I'm going to run slightly further down. Turn 90 degrees. And then turn it back out. Actually, it ended up falling exactly in the same place. Oh well. And then the back section. Just 
you have long, slightly longer hair, it's probably easier for you to pull it to the side. So down, turn it 90 degrees, straighten it out. Let's get some more hair down. In fact, I'll take it all the way to the parting here and in the back, and I'm just going to leave the top part, which is kind of like the most important part, I guess. Out. So, we'll take that. I'm running it through. This also warms up the hair, so it's a good idea to run it through once. Turning it 90, turning it back, and then turn it in the, just at the end, and I'll do that. Cool. That back section is a little bit large on its own. Now we just have the front to deal with, so I'm going to let it go. I'm going to take the back of the front section. This I'm going to take, do a, ever so slightly differently. So I'm just running the hair straightener through. And once I brush it again. This time I'm going to do the kink the other way. And then running it back. Just to give it kind of like a different style that, so that the hair moves in a different way. And then we're just going to do the front section. Actually, I'm going to split this in half as well. So run it through. So I'm actually going to turn it this way, 90 degrees. Give it a bit of time to get a kink. And then I'm turning it the other way. I'm finishing it off. And just the front still. And this I'm just going to do one kink on, it's a little bit shorter. There we go. And the way that this style actually becomes the style is you could use any sort of a dry shampoo. I'm going to use my Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray because I love this for it. But I often use the Aussie uh, Miracle Dry Shampoo as well. So what I do is I kind of haphazardly spray it on the different sections. Here where it's a little bit like more curly, if after my style is done, uh, I feel like it's too curly, I'm just going to take my straightening iron and just run it on one of the bits, kind of like to make it a bit straighter. Now she will often tuck the hair behind her ear or like keep it. I kind of like the tuck behind the ear because it gives a much more asymmetric look to the haircut. My actual haircut isn't asymmetric so mine is more of a bob. It's kind of graduated a little bit this way so it's a good way to make that happen be asymmetric. And also must remember I always spray a little bit just under. So this is kind of like the messy, kinky hair. Alexa Chung does this a lot as well, but hers is often longer. She kind of goes between longer and shorter. And yeah, this is kind of it. The messy, kinky, shaggy bob. So let me know if you want more hairstyling videos. I'd love to do some. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye.